everyone, my name is KG. You are watching K in Kansas, and today I want to share with you my new hobby, which is juicing. I'm having a hard time eating rich foods now that I'm getting older, and um, things don't go down as easily as before. I get acidic a lot so i started looking into juicing and how it could help heal my gut first and foremost i paid about a hundred dollars on amazon so it came with these two pictures that one catches the juice and obviously the other one catches the masticated fruit or vegetable actually it didn't come with this this is a sorbet attachment and i really wanted it so i went ahead and ordered this on amazon as well it was fifteen dollars I'll set all the links on my description box uh, if you want any of these items, okay? Let's go ahead and start by putting them all together. So this part right here goes directly on top. So there's actually a hole right here. I don't know if you can see that, but that hole goes directly into this slot. So you won't make the same mistake I did. I was having such an issue putting it on. Um, and making it work but it just goes directly on that then you want whatever attachment you're using this is the juicing attachment the one with the fine mesh and this hole again will go right into the slot that you see inside then the auger goes directly into this and there's a hole in there and you push it down it's pretty it's fairly easy this part and the last one is this whole thing there's a little lip right here that needs to go in and click inside so it would turn on if it's not closed properly your machine will have issues turning on so you want to hear that click so when i was looking for a masticating juicer i found that there are two kinds there's the vertical kind and there is also the horizontal kind and I went ahead and bought the vertical kind just because I found out that I can make sorbets with this kind of juicer. Also, I'm going to show you three things that I normally do with my masticating juicer, which is an almond milk. I'm going to show you how to make almond milk. I'm also going to show you just a regular vegetable and fruit juice. Finally, I'm going to show you how to make a simple sorbet or sherbet if you would like so stick around so for the first recipe like i said i'm gonna make almond milk and why make almond milk because almond milk that you buy in the store has emulsifiers they have additives and also they have all these other ingredients that you cannot pronounce so if you like almond milk you should totally try making it yourself and if even if you don't like almond milk you should give this a shot it's pretty good with honey vanilla and some other things and you can definitely put that in your fridge for about a week so anyways to make almond milk you will definitely need to soak almonds in water for i want to say about 24 hours i have this soaking for about i want to say 30 hours because we've been busy we just moved here if you want to see my empty house tour just go to my channel and check it out and what you want to do is basically drain it out and then you're also going to need about two cups of water for every cup of almonds that have been soaked you're also going to need um, salt just a little bit of salt it will um, basically make your almond milk a little bit sweeter it'll trick your tongue into thinking it's sweeter and if you do like a sweetened almond milk then i would suggest use agave nectar if you are low carb being or monk fruit if you're keto and um, you can also use honey if you're not worried about the sugar also when you soak your almonds you're gonna see all this like film around the container and that's okay that's pretty normal before you begin juicing your almonds just make sure that your juicer is turned on so I can't stress it enough, make sure that your machine is turned on before you start putting in your almonds with the water. I first start with the soaked almonds that I've drained and I add fresh distilled water. I don't use anything fancy, I just use regular Brita water, but that's definitely up to you. 
So you just want to keep continuing the whole process over and over until you've reached the consistency you like. You don't really need to follow a specific recipe, but it's two cups of distilled water per one cup of soaked almonds. It might really help you a lot if you actually put the catcher where the discarded almonds are filtering through. At times when it feels like it's getting too thick, I just go ahead and pour distilled water straight into the machine. And in that way, I get the consistency I like. And basically, you come up with uh, this pure almond milk. It was, it's really grainy if you drink it just like this. So what you want to do is drain out all of the almond bits. And I usually just use a mason jar, mason jar. And I have one of these things for my tea. So I just pop that there. You also want to remember that if you want a thicker almond milk that you want to use a little bit less water and also you don't want to drain it as much but if you like a smoother type of almond milk then you definitely want to thin it out by adding a little bit more water. So here we go. If you don't want it as thick make sure you strain it out. If you still don't like the consistency strain it out one more time. So after you drain it this is basically what you see inside it's the ground pulp you can toss this you hate throwing away waste so the ground almonds that has been masticated i actually use this to make keto muffins instead of almond flour i just use this if you use one cup of dry almond flour then you want to use about one cup of this only other thing that i do is since this is wet i just cut off a little bit of the liquid ingredients in your recipe and it actually turns out great. I've never had a problem with it. So here's finished almond milk. And if you want to drink it just like this, you can bottle it up and put it in your fridge. But I do like to flavor mine. So if you do like yours flavored, just make sure you grab a ramekin with a little bit of hot water. And then you would want to put a little bit of salt in here. And then for this one, I really love matcha. So I'm going to make a matcha agave almond milk so I just eyeball the agave and then you want to mix that up and for my matcha just use whatever matcha you like and I put about half a teaspoon or so mix that up and you can really get creative with this you can actually put like honey and cinnamon or you can put cocoa or you can even put coffee in your almond milk. So I will just go ahead and pour this in here. Mix it up. And there it goes. If you do want to bottle it up, I use these because I do kombucha as well. I can use this and I use a funnel to pour my finished matcha agave almond milk. If you want to get even more creative, go ahead and label it so that um, your family or you yourself could remember what is in your little bottles. All right, here we go. That's done. Ah! All right, did not expect that. So there you go. I am gonna go ahead and close this up. And for the most exciting part, I'm gonna try the rest of this. It's really good. I like this better than the store-bought almond milk. There you go, folks. Hopefully you enjoy that. If you want to see me make sorbet or sherbet with this masticating juicer, then please check out my channel. That's it for this one. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you next time.